Alright guys, I got the netbook out here for one last time. I've had a few people ask how this would be for uh, emulators, how this would be for a little bit of gaming. And, uh, you know, more specifically, a lot of people ask me uh, about uh, like NES and SNES emulators. Uh, so I wanted to show you a few things while I still have the netbook. Um, like I said, this is not mine. I was simply fixing it for someone. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to put XP back on it before I give it back. I mean, it, it had XP on it to begin with, and, uh, you know, I can't give it to him like this. If it was mine, I would just be keeping Ubuntu on here. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to put XP back on it. So I thought I would show a quick video. I got a few things plugged in here. I got a mouse, and I got a basic little Logitech gamepad. And um, I got a few games on here I wanted to show. Uh, the first one is open arena so let's load this one up as you can see it loads up pretty fast now this is an open gl first person shooter um, very similar to quake 3 so let's get it going i might have to adjust the uh, angle of the lcd screen to make sure you can see everything and that looks pretty good so let's get going as you can see here it runs you know flawlessly smooth and uh, you know the graphics are very sharp. The mouse is a little bit slow. <laughs> I should probably adjust that because I have to move the mouse. Let me get the mouse pad out of here and see if it works without the mouse pad. Uh, it might be a little better. I had to get the mouse for this one because I tried playing this with the little touchpad, and uh, forget about forget about that. It's just impossible. But uh, as you can see, this this runs uh, really well. This is in the screen's native resolution, which, if I remember correctly, is uh, 1024 by 600. So it's it's actually in a fairly high resolution, given the fact we're on a netbook and it's a 10-inch screen. Um, but like I said, it runs it runs great. I mean, let's be honest, guys. These graphics are blowing away at DS probably even a PSP considering the resolution it's running in and you know there's no uh, you know draw distance issues or anything and it's running fairly smooth other than the mouse not working very well <laughs> uh, optical mouse kinda needs to be on a mouse pad this one anyway uh, let's try another level here um, Let's leave that arena and try try this one here. Like I said, it loads pretty quickly, which was impressive, and uh, and it runs really well. Very impressed with this. And of course, this is an open source game. If I didn't mention that, it's free to download, and it's not just for Linux. You can download this for Windows and for Mac. So if you uh if you liked Quake 3. Uh, this is free and very similar to that game. The multiplayer, I, I assume, being very similar. And uh, obviously you don't need much to run it if it's running on this little netbook. Just fine. Like I said, it looks really good. So, you know, surprisingly this little netbook, uh, even though it's just a really basic integrated Intel graphics, you know, it can do basic 3D graphics like this. I mean, this doesn't take much to run Quake 3 equivalent graphics nowadays. Uh, so, you know, I just thought I'd show you guys that. This is pretty, pretty neat. Uh, but anyways, let's, um, let's exit this. And I got something else on here that's a little bit more familiar for some of you guys. This is ZSNES. ZSNES is a popular Super Nintendo emulator. A lot of guys run this in Windows, but they also make it for Linux. So I've installed this, and I brought over Donkey Kong Country just to show you guys. And that's why I have the little Logitech uh, gamepad plugged in here. I was curious myself as to how smoothly this would run on here. But, uh, you know, really, it's just a Super Nintendo emulator. I mean, I used to run this back on my Pentium, you know, 90 megahertz or something. So... You know, no surprise, it, it does run 
uh, perfectly fine, actually. I mean, even Donkey Kong Country, uh, which I picked based on the fact it's probably one of the more demanding 2D games for the Super Nintendo. I mean, without getting into the FX stuff. And obviously, it's just beautiful to look at. Very colorful. It looks great on this little screen. That's for sure. And, uh, you know, the controls are very responsive, actually. There's really no lag to talk about whatsoever. Um, so, I am playing <laughs> on this little Logitech gamepad, and I just got owned there. And like I said, it runs great. And uh, I'd like to take this mo moment here, actually, to, uh, to plug a channel. That's right. Shameless plug coming up. And uh, that's Jerry Terrifying. If you guys haven't seen Jerry Terrifying's channel, um, very similar to the stuff I do. I mean, a lot of old school gaming stuff on there and whatnot. So, I mean, uh, most of you guys should uh, enjoy that. Uh, but right now, he's uh, he's trying to get uh, more subscribers, as are a lot of people. But, um, you know, so I, I'm not going to plug everyone for no reason. But the reason is, he's, um, you know, he's having a friendly little uh, competition, if you will, with Etherix. He's friends with Etherix, and a lot of us know Etherix on here. And Etherix has a lot of subscribers. And... Jerry terrifying well not so much and uh, he's got a friendly little competition going with Etherix if he can uh, uh, catch up to his subscribers in the next month and uh, there's stakes on the line and that's why I thought I would help and um, well I probably couldn't sub describe it uh, quite so well I'm not going to be able to pay attention to this and talk at the same time um, but if you go on Jerry Terrifying's channel and check out his um, Desert Driving Challenge video. That'll explain it all. And I probably won't be able to explain it quite so well. But uh, he's got a little challenge going with Etherix. And uh, and if he loses, like I said, he's got this, uh, this Desert Driving Challenge thing he's going to have to do if he loses. And, uh, you know, don't just subscribe because I told you to subscribe. Uh, check out his channel. Like I said, he's got a lot of videos. And uh, if you like his videos, which you probably will, then uh, give him a little subscription. And uh, hopefully he can catch up to Etherix. But, <laughs> like I said, Etherix is definitely... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Has a lot of subscribers. Anyways, back to the netbook. As you can see, it does a great job. I mean, pack yourself one of these in your bag, and you got all your SNES games playable here, pretty much. And, um, and stuff like Open Arena, which I was very surprised to see how well that runs. So, I mean, let's be honest, guys. When you put, uh, when you put Linux together with netbook, the last thing you're thinking of is gaming. But, you know, I wanted to show that you could still have some fun. You could definitely still put some emulators on here, find some cool open source games. Um, you know, I'm not a Linux expert, but you could probably put Wine on here and at least get some older Windows games running all right. So, I mean, you, you could definitely play some games on here, you know, if you wanted to or if you needed to. And, uh, like I said, I had a few people asking, especially with the emulation. And the camera cut off there, but, uh, that's okay, because, uh, we're running out of time. And, uh, I think I made my point with this video. And, uh, like I said, unfortunately I don't have more time with the netbook. I'm gonna have to put Windows XP on, back on it, um, pretty much right away. And, uh, and give it back. So, like I said, it's not mine. I'm sure most of you figure that out, the fact that it was pink and... Pretty sure I mentioned that. I was just fixing it for somebody with the hard drive. And, uh, you know, really I just wanted to see what uh, Ubuntu was like on these things and how easy it was to install. I'll show you guys that. So so that was awesome. And, uh, and a little bit of gaming on here. So I guess that uh, pretty much sums it up. I mean, seeing this thing uh, really surprised me with that open arena. And uh, I'll shut this down. And I guess that's it for now.